Welcome back, my friends and curious onlookers. This is The Exponential Files, a weekly real estate show hosted by the CEO of Calsas Unlimited team, Jim Lowenstern. He's the Chris Rock of real estate. He can take a punch and keep on going. I'm Larry Laufer. Each week, we bring you information that you can use today about how you can make more money in this ever-changing real estate industry. The business is changing with the technology today. Deep venture capital pockets like Zillow, Redfin, Compass are trying to buy their way into the lead position for your hearts and minds and for all of the consumers. EXP Realty has a completely different business model. And the Castles Unlimited team, brokered by EXP Realty, has even more ways you can increase your income and not be tied to the world of working only for commissions. EXP Realty is unlike any other business out there. They're the Netflix to the blockbusters of the industry. Their technology is light years ahead of any agency out there. And that is especially true of agencies that tout their own superiority in this regard. You are not tied to your commissions at eXp. You are in stock with each sale. And this stock has been on the rise since it was first introduced. Every time you sponsor an agent into the fold, you gain stock and a portion of revenue share that agents create. Let's be clear, this is not the lame profit share that KW promises. This is the top line and not buried down below how a franchise defines its own profitability. There is no puffery, there is no BS. You will make more money, personal freedom and growth. Give us a call and we can answer all of your questions. Today, we want to share even more. While uh, the agents are uh, mean more to them and their own personal profit, this particular uh, Castles Unlimited team has a white paper that outlines how you can make more being part of this team. It's just amazing once you understand all of this. I'm here with the author of the white paper, Jim Lowenstern. Hey, Jim, what prompted you to give even more back to your team, even when they're getting more um, than any oh, other so, tradition? Okay, so I, I just I just want to state, I can be the Chris Rock of real estate, but it's because I can take a slap, not a punch. I can't take any punches. No punches. <laughs> zero, zero punches. Uh, and the other thing about the stock, it does not only go up uh, ironically, 52-week uh, low in the stock is today. But for all those people that know about the stock market, that's usually the best time to load up on shares of a particular stock. So um, I'm, I'm sorry, Larry. I know you asked me a question. <laughs> well, what was it? Well, you're always so busy trying to figure out how to correct something that you missed the question. So well, why? No, it's it's very it's very important to be a hundred percent factual on this show, and I know you will agree with that. <laughs> uh, so uh, why did you decide to? And, write and we did not, and we did not badmouth Keller Williams. They are a great brand. Their um, profit share is inferior. <laughs> to EXP's revenue share, but we did not badmouth them. I'm sorry. Um, the question again, the third time, <laughs> is a charm. Oh, well, well, we'll see about that, won't we? Um, so what made you write this paper and give away more oh. of the Castles Unlimited? Why would people want to come to this team? Yeah. It, it, was, it was multifaceted. Um, <clears throat> so with the EXP model, um, there are brokers out there offering different things, whether it would be uh, coaching, which of course we offer, uh, whether it would be um, marketing, which we cover. Um, a, a lot of it, it just has to do with um, decades of, of marketing and intellectual property that our team has uh, in um, federally registered trademarks, Castles Unlimited, Castles uh, with our commission programs, 100% plus, which uh, sort of predated even 
the um, the origins of EXP. Um, so it looks like uh, the the sun is is moving in on me here. Is that better? A little bit better. Huh, that's weird. All right. Uh, I, I I just wanted the uh, the trademarks um, to um, to live on. You know, um, to have a big team where uh, people are uh, enjoying the um, the marketing that these trademarks have created. Certainly with uh, luxury real estate, the trademark castles fits in quite well. Uh, castles Unlimited um, has been uh, a long known uh, brand. Castles Commercial, and then again, 100% plus to um, be a um, descriptor of uh, how agents can make the most money in real estate. So this corporation owns all those trademarks and there's no reason for me um, at my advanced age to hold on to this. Uh, so I'm letting the agents um, uh, benefit from uh, ownership in the company as well. So that that is the answer. You decided at, at this advanced age that you want to share with with people and especially people who come on to this team right now. Yeah, yeah. And um, so I'm taking a portion of my um, residual income. I'm actually breaking it into thirds. So uh, a third of it goes to a corporation for the commercial division. Uh, a third goes to the residential, and then a third um, remains with me, essentially, for the time being, anyway. Um, yeah, that that uh, in reading uh, these documents, uh, uh, the fact that it's a, a moving target uh, is uh, of interest. So uh, for use of all IP-related residential brokerage paid to CUI, uh, and will be calculated as 2% of CX's gross annual income. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, so so um, there's going to be payments made to the corporation that holds the actual trademarks. So I, I formed a corporation that has full licensing of all the trademarks, but pays 2% to the holding company um, for the use of those trademarks. Okay, so uh, please uh, clear this up for me. So it's the corporation that you set up is getting that 2% profit? The corporation that's always owned those uh, trademarks. Is yes. getting 2% of that profit? 2% 2 2 per, 2 of the uh, gross. Okay, a gross not, is tough. Not, not, a, not a big amount. Um, okay. So uh, 450 million shares of phantom stock will be issued to- uh, you're, you're gonna drill into this and, and, make, and make me crazy, but that's okay. That's you, okay. Ask me, you ask me to do this. You ask me to do this. So- uh, you, let's, you, let's, let's, let's do it. You're, you're gonna be the Mike Wallace <laughs> well, of the exponential files. No, this is good. Uh, so yes, so um, I, I want to literally give away millions of shares of stock to to the agents, and and who knows, um, maybe this uh, blows up and becomes uh, publicly traded. Uh, but it doesn't matter. A percentage of the uh, revenue is a percentage of the revenue, whether it's uh, one share or a million share. I just figure as time goes on, more and more agents will want to be a part of the team as it grows. So sure. agents that are getting a million shares today, you know, it, it might be 500,000 in a year or two, and it might be 100,000 in three or four years. As fewer shares are left, we're not just going to keep increasing the numbers, you know, billions. It's just, it is what it is. So it's, it's always better to get in early and adopt uh, a program early. The, the re bigger rewards go to those that uh, are in early 
in, in and any that's place. that is all that is always the case and and what that means is if you want to be part of that you need to give us a call send us an email um uh subscribe to uh this show and we'll give you more information every single week as as it becomes clear now i see well, that it's still in the we're still in the garage uh right. i'm jobs and you're uh wozniak so i don't even know who that is <laughs> Really? Um, Apple computer? I know Steve Jobs. Who was the other guy? Oh, Wozniak. Woz, Woz, Wozniak, yeah. Yeah, he, okay. Yeah. He's got a he big boat, or he had a big boat. I think he's sure dead he now, has. right? He's dead uh, now, he's, too. Yeah. So we're know. we're two dead guys. Uh, <laughs> oh. I don't want okay, to be Okay, too... so maybe there's a better analogy. I'll come up with a better one. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, so... Uh, I do like the fact that it's revenue share, just like like uh, EXP is. That makes so much more sense to anyone out there because profit share is like uh, you've got back end money in in the movie. You know, the producers are always going to figure out how uh, we spent more, so there's less profit. Uh, I think anytime you're hiding any of the, that information, uh, you're really not doing the best thing. So well, ownership uh, is ownership. Uh, you know, there's profits and and losses that, you know, the, the thing is that this this company already has been profitable for many years. And, uh, you Castles know, Castles Unlimited just, has been profitable for yeah, many years. Of course. Which is so uh, we're, we're just. Um, I guess extending the legacy and sharing it with uh, the top twenty-five people who come in and and sign on the dotted line and begin producing. To be the top thousand people. I mean, it's it really okay. So it's not just, for example, if someone were to choose me as their EXP sponsor, they're not the only ones that are going to get shares of stock. They're people, people that choose them as a sponsor are also in line to get similar amounts of stock. Um, you know, as it, as it spreads out and um, there's more agents uh, looking to come on, you know, number one, it might not even be necessary to even mention it, but for the time being, um, I'd, I'd like to see everyone be, you know, it's like a, a large, um, board of directors, you know, everyone, everyone gets a, a little say in, uh, in, in how things are. Well, board of Not directors, a majority say, but you know, in, in it, it, I've always run a democratic company anyway. <laughs> With you as the king. <laughs> no, not, not at all. I'm, 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 I'm basically, it, it's really inverted as far as I, I see it. I'm not, I'm not at the top of any kind of triangle here. I'm, I'm, I'm really the guy that has to take everyone's interest into account before my own. I'm, I'm, I'm at the bottom of the heap. I mean, my, my agents in, in many cases make more than I do make a lot more money than I do, which is fine. I want them to be super successful. I know uh, a couple of those. I, I don't know many uh, of them. And they are, they are super agents. We'll have we, them on had, show. Um, we had someone sell a four and a half million dollar house in uh, Brookline, Massachusetts yesterday. Mm -hmm. The agents are doing, I mean, it's, it's a great market also. It is a great market if you got a listing. Four million, it takes a while to sell those, but uh, when they sell. Actually, actually, it sold immediately. She tried renting it for a while. She invested a lot of money into, I, I, I know social media, she always does a big, big job in videoing and, and all that stuff. But I think she also spent a lot of money on uh, staging and maybe even uh, painting. Uh, yeah, the house needed a ton of work. Uh, it was actually owned by uh, the president of BU, Silver, years ago. That, that was Silver's or, house? Or, or might have even been BU, uh, and he just lived there. I, I, I don't know every detail. But uh, it was impossible to lease because it needed so much work. Who was going to put in that work just to... Just to a, rent it. Just to get the rental. Right. Yeah, it was a, a beautiful, beautiful home. Um, yeah. It's right near one of my clients' homes. Um, yeah. 
Uh, so as, as we go forward um, and we uh, describe to people the benefits of not just eXp Realty, but Castles Unlimited team, uh, what do you think are the top three reasons why people would give us a call and come on board? Uh, the coaching, the okay. mentoring, uh, the fact that, um, and, and unfortunately, I don't have a copy to hold up today. It, it's literally probably going to be delivered this afternoon. But um, I just wrote uh, my second book, which is focused uh, mostly on EXP and how um, their business model is changing or, or has already changed the business with 78,000, who knows, it could be 80,000 uh, agents uh, as of today. But, um, you know, to, to be uh, associated with uh, even this podcast, uh, as, as we um, move along with more and more agents, uh, we're putting more and more links on this website, the exponential files. Uh, the white paper, of course, the shares of stock in, in Castles Unlimited. I'm sure there's a few other things, but that that's three. You asked for three. So I did ask for three. The top three. Give, you know. Yeah. I know that. Oh, uh, oh I'll, I'll, I'll give you four. I mean, if you're in the Boston area, certainly uh, EXP typically is a, um, a, um, a cloud-based uh, organization, and we have brick-and-mortar offices. And... Um, our downline, our team um, does not have to rely on just EXP administrators. Castles Unlimited has, we have our own. Uh, when, when, Castles, when Castles Unlimited uh, moved over to EXP, it brought, up, uh, it brought all of your admin staff. And in fact, you actually even hired some more people um, to support the change. Onboarding and training. Yep. Onboarding and training, because um, for those of you who haven't onboarded yet, uh, EXP uses uh, KV Core for its website. You're given that uh, that website, but that doesn't mean you don't have some work to do. Of course you do. You're you're uh, a owner of your own business, so you need to set that up and make it uh, speak about what your interests are in either uh, the area you want to sell, uh, the type of clients that you want to have. Um, but you get this, uh, you get that KV core, and it's also connected to your, um, uh, your, uh, well, it is your website, but no, it's, it's connected to your uh, document signing, and it's also connected to um, how you get paid. So uh, in many other agencies, you have a compliance officer uh, that will just throw paperwork back on you. You didn't do this right. That does not happen here. What you get is a, you have a dashboard that shows you what is accepted, what is not accepted. If it's not accepted in their description, they tell you what to do. And it makes it so much better than a compliance officer just saying, this isn't right, do it over. Um, because if you don't know, you don't know. Anytime you're learning new technology, there's a, there's a little bit of a, a, a stress about it. But once you have it, you're doing the same thing over and over again for your, your next hundred transactions. And after a while, you can do it in your sleep. Yeah. And, and you're also talking about Skyslope, uh, the doc, electronic documentation handling right. system. Right. And, and that's where DigitSign uh, resides. Yeah. And, and, and it's good because it keeps agents uh, a little more um, organized and uh, I would say a lot more professional. Um, I, I found for, for me, I really like the dashboard because uh, what I do, what it's kind of what it asks you to do is not keep all those files in a you know, those paper files, said, so load them up as PDFs as soon as you have them. Yesterday, I got a purchase and sale sign. Today, I load up that purchase and sale completely executed with the deposit check. And then all of that stuff, immediate, not immediately, they review it first, but it's pretty quick. 
because they have a whole team that's looking at all of this stuff. Um, and you, uh, it's just so painless once you understand it. There's pain to understand it. Uh, one, one of the things that attracted me to uh, EXP originally was seeing the, uh, the Okta dashboard. I, I know you're talking about a different dashboard, but the one that has uh, revenue share, it has um, the Morgan Stanley account. And, and of course, um, a, a big, I'd say benefit of being part of this EXP team is um, the issuance of stock and uh, and residual income. Yeah. So uh, I, I I would say that there are very few real estate companies out there that really have built in to their business model a retirement system for their agents. Right. You know, there's 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 no retirement parties for real estate agents, uh, and, until now. Right. I, I think well, EXP has uh, really um, pioneered the way. There, there is a select group of people uh, in the KW system that uh, are recruiting agents rather than recruiting people rather than agents, and they're they're doing fairly well. But those are people that have recruited large large teams. Okay. You know, the fir okay. the first the first people in it, and they did right. it on the on the profit share, not the revenue share. Yeah. But um, they were promoted by the company, and they spoke at large conferences, so it was uh, a little bit easier to attract. I think that that agents out there, uh, they are being spoken to, and hey, we'll make more money. We'll do this for you. We'll do that for you. And a lot of agents, it's it's puffery to them. It doesn't seem real. This is a, this is a real thing. And although it took me several months to really understand and 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 come on board with it, now that I realize that, I think, what took me so long? Why didn't I understand this? Well, well, that yeah, a lot, a lot of agents they they want to know everything about EXP in five minutes, and and when they say Thank five you. minutes, they really mean yeah, I'll give you about a half a minute. G give me everything I need to know in thirty seconds. And when I started realizing that even five minutes wasn't enough, that's when I started to break it down and uh, and and do an outline for the book. Right. Um, and, and the book is still going to grow. I mean, each agent and, and, and you see this, Larry, uh, you, you see, I, I sent you one uh, last evening, a uh, couple of agents at um, Century, Century 21. 21. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're they're doing their own podcast. Um, of, of course, that individual Century 21 franchisee can offer his agents uh, an incentive to you know, sponsorship or re recruiting agents yeah. into that agency. Yeah. But you, you and I both know that uh, that's limited to maybe one state at, at the most, um, whereas a company like EXP is now in 22 countries, you literally can open up an entire country um, through a podcast like like this, for example, someone right. somewhere, you know, maybe uh, maybe in Tunisia. We're not in Tunisia yet, and there's a real estate agent in Tunisia that goes, "Oh, that guy Larry really seems to be on the ball." I don't know so much about Jim, but I'm going to call Larry and see what he can tell me about EXP. And all of a sudden, we have 23 countries, and that's right. a big deal. When right. you when you love to be the number one guy in Tunisia, Larry? I'd love to visit Tunisia. Yes. Um, I do know that we we already have uh, uh, some people who have subscribed from Italy and from Australia. Um, this show? On this podcast? Uh, watch it, yeah, watching this show. Marco, he was on that other show that we oh, did. Okay. All right. Remember him? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Torelli, I think he is in, is he in Venice, uh, Florence. I forget what, you know, um, in any event, um, it, 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 
what we're hoping to do and what we we hope that this show provides for you is enough information that you're going to have questions that you need answered. And um, it, at this show, I, I'm not sure if we can do it right now, but you'll be able to ask us questions live on the show once we get that set up through our YouTube account. Um, and we can answer your questions live right away, but you can always come through the website. Uh, there's ways to get in touch with us. Uh, what we want for you is what we're grabbing for ourselves. A future, I came into EXP because I want to retire in four and a half years. And I, I, I want to retire. And what I mean, I'd like to cut back on, on the hours that I'm putting in. I love what I do. I love my clients. I love making them happy. I want to continue to do that, but I don't want to be driving around at 6.30, 7 at night about to make a presentation. I want to be home with my family. And, and this is the way that I'm going to do that. Uh, by uh, building up stock, I've already received my first uh, uh, stock uh, uh, deliveries because of my closings. Um, I noticed in the white paper, Jim, you said to, to vest it with the Castles Unlimited uh, stock program, you have to be vested for six months. Sounds about right. I, I haven't committed everything to memory, but okay. six months seems to be a reasonable period of time. Yeah, uh, with with some of the stock you get from EXP, there they want you to be there three years. That's right. some of the th some of the stuff you can turn around and, and sell it the next day. You know, you know what I I, I want to address that three years. Um, I, I I think what they're saying when and and a lot of people they don't get it. I, and I've seen that already with with some agents. Um, I, I call that like the the microwave um, um, psychology. Uh, I think I wrote about that in in my first book. Everything's got to be uh, perfect, and it's got to be perfect now, and it's got to be perfect the way I want it. And there's no no other way. It's either my way or the highway. Um, so here's a company that did so much for so many already. And all they've asked in return is, you know, this is not gonna be a panacea. You're gonna get a high split. I mean, you can get higher splits out there. That's, that's true. Uh, and there's probably companies that have um, sponsorship, revenue share, and that's true. And there's probably companies that have as good technology, uh, also true, but there's probably no company that's figured out how to give away, what was it? 1.9 billion in, in revenue last year to its agents. 50%. Crazy, crazy amount of money. Yeah. Um, but you have, to, you have to work for it. You know, yeah. people say, oh, Everyone at EXP is um, just a company of, of recruiters. Um, the fact of the matter is uh, they say it's no more than about 15% of all the agents yeah. ever recruit anybody. Yeah. And I don't yeah. know if they're even trying. I would say they're probably not even trying right. because in order to do it successfully, you have to have a significant knowledge of what you're talking about or you're going to... Yeah certainly never recruit anyone. So my, my point is three years, it takes a little bit of time and, and a little bit of effort. And actually it takes a lot of time. I mean, the, the, the top brokers in the system, whether they're selling real estate and recruiting or just recruiting or just selling, they take this seriously. This is a yeah. real business. It's a real, really, um, uh, I'd say venerable brand at this point. Um, my belief is Castles Unlimited um, and, and our logo might be more attractive on signs. You know, the Castles logo certainly makes more sense on, you know, you're going to sell a $5 million house. Might, might make more sense to have that on the sign. These are, these are, 
up to the agent to figure out what's best for their business. And that's the other thing. There's the flexibility. I have people, well, I'll say we have people on our team, the council's unlimited team, that uh, use their own team name. That's their preference. They're still getting all the advantages of our brick and mortar, our admins, and in their downline, they still even, you know, it's up to them which right. which name they're going to use. Right, right. Um, I don't think you mentioned the name of the book. It's The Million Dollar Month. You're, you're <laughs> close. Uh, your Million Dollar Year in Real Estate. Excuse me, that was the first one. Your Million Dollar Month in Real Estate. That's so funny. Let's go to the tape because last week I said that and you said, no, it was, it was wrong. It was the million dollar month. So is it the or your? Because when people look for it, they want to no, look it's, for it. It's, it's, your, it's your million dollar month in real estate. Yeah, I would rather it be my million dollar well, month. Well, if, if they've come to this website, the exponentialfiles.com, there's going to be links all over yeah, for that yeah. book. Yeah, that's true. And, and, I, and I think I've decided I, I, I will sell it on this website. I, I guess, I guess that makes sense. There, there was sort of that, uh, that uncertainty, you know, would be. Well, I think it's a, I think it's a huge benefit to any of the Castles Unlimited team to, to have, have it. And so if someone comes in, um, they would get a copy of it or well, are you going well, to. Well, that too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, both that people will be able to buy it as well. Well, why, right. why should I limit the distribution? It was a, right. It was, it was a brainstorming thought and uh, my, uh, my PR people quickly talked me out of it. They said, you know, the, the more, the, the, the merrier. Yeah. Well, it reminds me of, of the agents that put a listing on the market for 10 days, but say no showings until the first open house. So, you know, you're just limiting the number of people who are looking at your house, especially in this particular market. But uh, that's just a pet peeve of mine right now. So um, this is a 30 minute show. Uh, we're just about wrapping it up. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to click on any one of the, the many buttons down there. We'll get back just to you. Or just call us or text us. Call or our, text. our our phone numbers are all over. We're all over everywhere. Billboards, uh, skywriting, <laughs> smoke signals. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you so much. It's been great uh, talking to you. Uh, tune in next week for another great show. Thank you, everyone. Have a great weekend. You as well, Jen.